What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video I will show you my stock tracker which I created for both capital gains and dividends. And by the end of this video you will also be able to create your very own stock portfolio tracker. The first thing you will need to do is log into your Google account and scroll down to Sheets. Once you have clicked into the Google Sheets option, select Start New Spreadsheet. Once you are into the blank spreadsheet, create 5 tabs below. Call these tabs Portfolio, Transactions, sector breakdown, dividend calendar, and performance. For the purpose of this video, we will just focus on the first three tabs today. So on the portfolio tab, put in the following headings. The name of the company, the symbol associated with the company, the sector in which the company operates, the number of shares you hold in your portfolio for that company, the average price you paid for the stock. So for example, let's say you bought one stock today for $10, and tomorrow you bought the same stock for $5, while the average price would be $7.50. Next up is the market price. So as you'll see, we'll be putting in a formula from Google, which will update the stock price on a real-time basis. The next header will be cost basis. This will be your average price. So column E will be multiplied by your number of shares in column D, plus any transaction costs that you incurred. The market value column will consist of the current market price multiplied by the number of shares you own. So in this case, it will be column F multiplied by column D. Column I will associate your gain loss. This will be your market value in column H minus the cost basis in column G. Column J will give you your gain loss percentage, and this is simply H, so market value in column H, divide by column G, cost basis, minus one. Column K will be the company's annual dividend. You can simply go onto the company's website to gain this information. Column L will be your dividend yield. This is simply your annual dividend in column K, divide by F, so your market price. And finally, column M will be your annual income. This will be your number of shares in column D, multiplied by your annual dividend in column K. So for the purpose of this video, we will pretend we bought a new stock, let's say Walt Disney, and we will fill in each of the cells accordingly. So input the name Walt Disney in column A. We can go onto Google to find out what the company's ticker is. Input ticker DIS into column B. In column C for the sector, this will be consumer discretionary. In column D, let's say we bought 10 shares with an average cost in column E of $115. In order to get the real-time market price to feed into column F, we will need to put in a formula. Click into cell F7 and type in equals Google Finance. Then you will want to open bracket, click into cell B7, close bracket and enter. This will now update your portfolio on a real-time basis instead of manually having to update the price every day. In column G, the cost basis will be your average price and transaction cost multiplied by the number of shares you hold. So click into cell G7 and multiply E7, so the average price, multiplied by the number of shares in column D7. For your market value, click into cell H7 and put in equals F7, which would be your market price, multiplied by D7, which is your number of shares, and click Enter. For the gain loss column I, it is going to be your market value, so H equals H7 minus cost basis G7, and click Enter. So in column J, we will be getting column I's figure as a percentage. So it will be H7 divided by G7 minus 1 will give you your percentage. For column K, for the annual dividend, we can simply go onto Google and go onto dividend.com to get the figure. So as you can see, Disney plays an annual dividend of $1.76 per share. For the dividend yield column, it will be simply equals K7 divided by F7. And column M, the annual income, is simply equals D7 multiplied by K7, which will give you your total annual income for that share. So then we can go on to the transaction tab and in here, you will want to put in seven headings, the date, order type, number of shares, the symbol, price you paid in total, 
the transaction fee and the total overall. Now a lot of people don't keep a transactions log on their portfolio spreadsheet but I find it to be very useful when looking back over stocks that you've bought and sold. And the third tab that we will go into today is the sector breakdown. So in this tab you will just want to create three headings, sectors, percent invested in that sector and amount invested in that sector. I find this tab very useful to see if you are over or underweighted in any sector in your portfolio. This tab is also very useful when rebalancing your portfolio. I also feel it's a very good idea to be able to see how diversified your portfolio is in a visual aspect, such as the pie chart. Obviously, as I continue to grow my portfolio, I'll be diversifying my shares even more. So with that being said, that is how I have created my first three tabs in my portfolio summary spreadsheet. I hope this video helped you guys out and if so, I'd be very grateful if you could like, subscribe and also comment below if you have any questions. Thanks very much as always for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.